Good evening, everyone. I apologize for the technical difficulties and sorry for the delay. I am the host of a YouTube channel, The Law Center, that uh, is um, self-represented resources for self-represented litigants. And um, it's basically how to use technology to save time and money uh, not only for the self-represented litigant, but also anyone who helps uh, people who are involved in court. Um, what I want to go over today is how to use technology so that you can represent yourself better. I want to uh, use my Law Center YouTube channel as a resource and show you what's there. But not only that, how you also can set up your own resource and other resources that are out there that you might not be aware. Um, I'll, I'll discuss very briefly how I um, work with other experts to uh, create educational resources from technology. So first, about me. Um, Guys, I'm sorry, but I don't actually have an active family law pro, uh, practice. I'm a personal injury, workers' compensation, and general litigation lawyer. And I discovered um, technology when I went into politics in 2012 because I had to pay for my own commercial. And I eventually wanted to learn how to do that myself, which gave birth to this, this ability that I have to create online resources. But so through politics, I set up a um, when I became a candidate, I became motivated to have my own YouTube channel for political candidates. Uh, politics never worked out, but I always had a community conscious morality and wanted to change laws and pass laws, which led to me doing um, legal um, or what I didn't get elected as a candidate. I figured, look, I'm going to use everything that I've learned for law. And why I became motivated to do that is I went through a family court case and I learned that family court is broken. And I really don't have to tell all you that. So I'm not going to go uh, into that in detail, but I feel that because of technology, we have an opportunity for great social change and I'm motivated to continue to produce these resources. Um, and uh, we'll be discussing how this evening. So many people, uh, Joe Sorge, this producer of Divorce Corp says that family court is in the dark ages. And I truly believe we're not always gonna, things aren't always gonna be this way. Um, right now, most people get married, 90% of us get married before the age of 50. And half of us, up to half of us get divorced. And 40%, I personally think, I heard statistics that are more than that, of children are born to unwed parents. All of these cases, or not all of them, but a substantial portion of them end up in litigation. But lawyers, or the legal system is set to be more expensive and affordable for the average person, up to $630 per hour. If a lawyer is below his cost, it's $75 an hour. A petition or a divorce or a custody petition can be up to $23,000. And most people live paycheck to paycheck. Even if you look at free legal aid, 80% of the people who qualify for legal aid, their needs are unmet, which leaves us with, in Philadelphia, where I live, 90% of family court litigants self-represent. Now, if you're in a wealthy area, two-thirds of the people self-represent because, again, people still um, live hand-to-hand -hand or, or, or uh, paycheck to paycheck. So how I, you know, how can, what can I do? And I believe technology is, a, is the solution. And I say this not as a family law practitioner, but I was able to help myself in court because not 
because I practiced law, but I knew where to find the law. The difference between a lawyer and a layperson is a lawyer spent several years maybe just looking where to look. But when you have a narrow issue like a family law issue and you know where to look, you can be substantially more self-sufficient as a self-represented litigant than you could otherwise. And someone before I started said, wait a minute, is this only going to be about helping self-represented litigants? But what I'm proposing is a completely new paradigm on how people can make it, can navigate through a family law petition, a custody situation, a divorce, or, um, and I'll get to that later. So hold that thought, but I wanted to address that. So uh, you knew where this was going is for everyone. But anyway, so why is technology the solution? We just went through enormous change in the past 30 or 40 years. Back in the 70s, this is a, a studio in the 70s and what it would take for a lawyer who wanted to make an online course, they would have to use a studio where they would have to rent equipment that could be about $50,000. This is what this setup would cost just to set up the studio. So if a lawyer wanted to produce an online product and teach or to convey legal representation, make something where you can purchase a cassette tape or a VCR tape where you learn what's in that lawyer's brain, the lawyer's going to have to cover that overhead. But this is what my office is now, or when I started with my own channel, that camera was about $400 or $500. The computer screens, you know, were what, maybe 150 to 100 at a computer that you may or may not already own. And this was this recording studio compared to this one, this 50,000 one, and this one, which with another $600 camera, basically, which I already had, is free. And the product between these two is identical. Or now, what we can do for free is even better what we could do before. And what even a lawyer can do at home or what you can do with your cell phone, it's the same technology available to all of us. So you create a product. And then what you used to have to do is you used to have to put it on TV and pay for the airtime, maybe another $25,000, or $100,000 for the advertising. Now we can reach the world for free because we can post our product online. We can use search engines. We can put it up on YouTube, spread it by social email, social media, or email. Instead of a 50 cent stamp, I can send stuff out for free. So whatever we lawyers practicing, if we want to help you, when we want to produce something, we can just open up our computer, turn on our phone, and we can reach the world. I can reach people in Australia from here from Philadelphia instantly for free. So basically, the concept that I'm explaining is the, the, this, the medium of the, is the message was um, something that was coined 19, in 1964 by Marshall McLuhan. I believe that the ease that we can spread our word is actually more important than the fact that, you know, that I have anything brilliant as this, you know, Johnny Cochran family law lawyer. What's special about what I'm sharing with you is how free and available everything you need to know is out there if you know where to look. So there's a lot of different places we can buy and read books. We can get stuff on pamphlets or articles. I wanna propose that video is the best way or is a way that you can get a lot of critically important information rapidly. Um, the average time people spend reading is now 10 minutes a day. If you're under 44, if you're over 75, you spend 44 minutes a day statistically or an average. So people are spending six hours a day in screen time, mainly on YouTube. So when we wanted to learn, we used to go into a library and things were indexed by category that way. But now I want everyone to start thinking that there's a video library out there of resources that you can turn into a powerful resource to help you. So I wanna use my channel as the first resource as an example where you can find things. This is um, the channel that I set up. 
Okay. So I want you to know that on my YouTube channel, I put up a playlist or several playlists on what to do in court, how to prepare for a hearing. And before I did that, I had this channel up and it was completely curated by other lawyers before I started because I wanted people to have a place to go to see. So when I talk about this, I want you to know that I'm not the original and I'm not the only one. Heck, I don't even do it the best. But one thing I do is I've been through family court and I know how expensive it is, how you get treated by your lawyer. I'm not a family law lawyer, but I know what it is to go through and to want to be able to help yourself because otherwise you're going to go bankrupt, lose your home, or you don't have the money or you can't. And there's also, I, I want to give a little spoiler or tell you where I'm going with this. There's a way that you can do, you can go most of the way yourself and then just use the lawyer to hold your hand in court or to talk to the judge or to negotiate a hearing. Or if you're not confident writing a petition, the lawyer can give you the petition, but you can still speak for yourself, negotiate for yourself. I'll get to that later, but let me just move on and get this. For those of you who do YouTube, I want you to know when you go to a channel or a lawyer's website or, or even from mine, if you go to the law center and you want to use this, do not click videos. So you don't want to go to videos because if you click, if you can see this red arrow and you click, I'm going to click, whoops, see this red arrow where it says sort by. If I were to click that with my mouse, this drop down comes down you can only sort videos by most popular date added old to new or new to old depending upon what uh, that highlighted part right there the where the place to go is not videos but playlists because then you can see um how they're set up where it says created playlists right here going left to right across my stream well that's another second one the family law but um sorry here, created playlist, um, going left to right is all the created playlists. If you hit the arrow next to that nine, you'll see all the rest. You're only seeing six playlists there, but there's really 50 that I've had. The most important thing on the Law Center is this family law self-help one. But um, going back to playlists, every time you click on that playlist tab that's underlined, to the left, right next to, well, to the left, there's a drop down arrow where it says all playlists. If you click that, what pops up is a table of contents on how playlists are organized. So it's basically everything that's been set up on the site has been digested. I'm not just telling you this. Well, on my page, this is all the playlists or groups of playlists that I set up. But the ones, this is the created playlist, that's every one, but I use this more than law because this is my primary one. But if you hit uh, these two, family law help playlists or family law playlist, family law self-help or family law, that's everything that I've indexed related to family law. So if you ever go to my site, just go to these two playlists are really all you need to do if you're a self-help litigant. If you click the home tab, this is primarily, and his home is still, I just uh, right click, home is still uh, underlined there. Everything on this page, I'm gonna click down, I'm gonna scroll down on the site now. And this is the site minimized so more will fit on my screen. I've, uh, on, on my channel, I've indexed it for trailers. My video cast, there's now eight of them. I did this six weeks ago. And I have a parental alienation playlist if anyone is dealing with um, parental alienation. And these two, my two sets, one and two, are all the same. They're just indexed from oldest to new and newest to old. Second set shows the newer ones. But if you scroll down again, this is it's, it's row five and six. Five, left to right, are, are all the categories of self-help playlists that I've set up. Now. If you need a lawyer and you are not here for 
wanting to handle this yourself, but you're wondering what resource, resources are here for you. Uh, oh, first of all, sorry, if you click this arrow here, you'll see more. There's a whole nother slew of um, videos, but these are the only ones that show here. Be aware or look for this arrow that's highlighted there on any page you go to, because YouTube doesn't show you all of them. They only show you partial. You have to know that that, you have to know when that arrow is there, that there's up to 16 or more playlists in a particular category. So for someone who can't handle something their own because handle something on their own for whatever reason, because you're facing too much money, because you're facing someone who's politically connected or whatever, go to something called limited scope. This playlist that I have here, I discuss a way that I think that you can spend 10 cents on the dollar, 20 cents on the dollar, maybe a third at most. But what lawyers have done in the past is handled everything, including photocopying, paperwork, or, or, or every letter, every communication, things that we can do ourselves. And they would charge you $300 an hour for that work that even the secretary could do, or that we might be able to do on our own. Heck, not only might, me, not only might we be able to do it, you might prefer to do it. So this is the term of art that you want to need, to, that you want to know, limited scope. And this is particularly for someone who who um, has a lawyer, but your lawyer has to be open to the term. It's either limited scope or unbundled services is another synonym for this. But anyway, go to this limited scope playlist and the first three videos are extremely helpful that I recommend anyone in this situation watch. So I've organized by petition, custody self-help, child support, uh, this general family law self-help is really preparing for a hearing. I'm going to ch change that name. And then this other self-represented tutorials one was done by uh, someone who gave me this idea in the first place, Melissa Isaac. And that's an excellent 20 video set for anyone in custody court. So these are the top three, sorry. These are the top three videos, five steps to take before contacting a family lawyer, steps to take before you retain your lawyer, if you find out you're not entitled to a free one, that's basically what I discuss in the top one. And then number three, with that yellow thumbnail, is how it all works, what, what a limited scope lawyer works, how, how they um, handle it. If you scroll all the way down to the law center, there are five channels that I strongly recommend that you look at. Um, all these lawyers, or some I think are this, this uh, that DDSD, I don't think he's a lawyer, but he still talks about self-represented. Cordell and Cordell is one of the largest firms. These channels have all done what I am doing. What they've done is they realize that for, to, to really fully serve your clients, you don't wanna keep repeating the same arguments over. So you're gonna have a library like mine at these. I strongly recommend that you take a, a look at each of these. And the way computer algorithm, uh, oh, by the way, the government does it too. Wherever you're located, whether it be California, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Texas, wherever you are, if you type in your county, your state, or the largest county in your state and type self-help or self-represented, you will get a library of videos. This is only a sample of a few, but each of these that I have on this page, there's a library there that you may or may not be able to find. So before you even start preparing to represent yourself, what I recommend is you look to see what's out there and then index it in a way I'm gonna teach you, uh, at least those who don't have their YouTube page or might not be using it to maximum capability. So there is another gold nugget out there, but let me just show you uh, something, a gold nugget here. Um, someone shout out, uh, John or Joan, if you can't hear this. Law Help Interactive, or LHI, provides free guided interviews to help you prepare legal documents. 
LHI forms can be used by anyone with a legal issue or by lawyers providing free legal help to low-income people. LHI forms are available in many states and can help with many common civil legal problems. Things like establishing guardianship of a minor, obtaining an uncontested divorce, enforcing visitation rights, stopping a garnishment, dealing with identity theft problems, and more. If you are starting at lawhelpinteractive.org, click on Find Forms to visit a partner site where you can find forms and helpful resources available in your state. Now, let's say you need a guardianship to enroll your grandchildren in school. An LHI guided interview will ask you questions, gather information, and help you prepare the forms you need to represent yourself in court. You can also create an account to save your answers and come back later. When you're done, you can print or email your forms, as well as instructions to help with the next step in resolving your legal problem. The solution to your civil legal issue could be just a few clicks away. Discover what's available for you at lawhelpinteractive.org. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So, if you have some money, but you cannot come up with these steep retainers that lawyers charge, um, the, the type of representation is unbundled or um, limited scope employment. And, and think of it as a la carte, legal services, one thing at a time. So to explain this more, just want you to know what a... What we lawyers were taught in our ethics class is that we had professional responsibility to take you to the finish line. From the minute that you walk in the door to, to the time that that final petition, the judge rules on that petition to make sure that things work out. So I don't want you to think I'm completely criticizing my own profession here. We're actually taught this. Over the years, over the past 20, 30, or 40 years, things have loosened up where the courts themselves have recognized that people don't need the whole nine yards. They can, we can give them pieces of help and representation for the client that doesn't want you to bear all the responsibility in the result in every step of the way. It, it, it's like not having to have a professional micromanage just what you say at, at, at a pickup or something like that. So um, I like this image here as to what limited scope and services are. It's a form of delivering legal services where the lawyer breaks down the task associated with the legal matter and uh, into, into bite-sized elements and only provides representation to the client for the portion of the client's legal needs. And so, you know, I, this is not for people who um, are unable to handle some parts. You may need that lawyer, but it's part of what I consider my mission to, to, to educate the parts where you don't know how, or at least tell you where to look. So the client accepts the responsibility for doing legwork that they used to be charged for, for the remainder of the legal matter until it's completed. So I think this is just going to get bigger. So the other thing is, suppose you look and you say, gosh darn it, in my county, no one's going to help me. Well, but it, things are changing because competition is changing. So people, so lawyers have to keep up because now even with COVID, a lawyer can represent you just by uh, through their computer. So because most customers understand that, you know, we live in a do-it-yourself society and it tends to be more affordable, clients want to do it. And Lawyers, therefore, have to meet the demand of the do-it-yourself consumer, client, and economy. So uh, not to mention, most pe many people aren't afford the high expense of the traditional representation. So lawyers have to because they don't have enough business. And online legal service companies such as LegalZoom uh, are teaching people that this is available, just like I'm teaching you here. So this is just a break. This is a breakdown of the different things that are involved, that lawyers are prepared to say, hey, I need you just to do this, or just this, or this, or this. Ghostwriting, which means uh, 
all right, so you don't feel comfortable writing that first document, I'll do it for you. A pleading, a brief, um, a settlement uh, agreement, or you did, suppose you did it yourself. And so you did 90% of the way, hey, uh, Mr. Attorney or Mrs. Attorney, just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Or, hey, I can do everything but legal research or help me negotiate this, hold my hand in court. Or, hey, I'm ready to go to court. I'll do it myself. But could you tell me what I'm going to face uh, instead of, uh, or, or just legal strategy or, or look, like I said, I can go in, but can you just help me prepare the exhibit so the judge isn't going to say, dis you know, uh, objection sustained, you can't come in. Helping with discovery, contracts and agreements, guidance, or even, hey, Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Lawyer, where can I find uh, information? You know, you can go on a retainer and just uh, uh, have each, each time you call or each time you send an email, just, just pick away at that. So you may be self-represented, but perhaps you can have a lawyer hold your hand through the whole self-represented process. So like I said, I do think it's gonna become more I think it's going to become the, the assumed. The lawyer is going to say, hey, what do you need? And most lawyers aren't even going to think to handle the whole thing. Um, I think it's important for self-represent litigants, if you can come up with some money for a nonprofit or find a nonprofit or look at those ways that I suggest on how to help find someone, there is actually, uh, I'm going to fly through this part. There's research that shows how much better people who have someone give that limited scope representation. Even if you handle most of it, try and get someone to help you because you have an increased race to settlement. Statistics show you're almost twice as likely to get a case settled rather than not. And uh, even, um, well, without a hearing or at a settlement conference. You're three times as likely for your hearing to not have to be changed. Like people are, happy with the result when a lawyer at least takes some role. Uh, you see the word Shriver there. That means um, Shriver was the uh, a Sergeant Shriver Foundation paid for this study. It's why it's called that, or at least paid for the representation. So um, three times as many people filed a new petition if they got a settlement or had a hearing and got something without having a lawyer look at it. And here's the reasons why they talk to you, they educate you, they, they give you your expectations, they tell you the strengths and weaknesses of your case, they tell you how to deal with the judge, they ease tensions between the parties, the litigant felt supported, the lawyer was able to help the client talk to the other side. Um, courts benefited from a lawyer saying, look, I spent an hour talking to this person and here's what they told me. The courts appreciate that the way a lawyer can shrink down the time. Uh, Susan, that's why I drafted that or, or, or put together that one video. And with feedback from people like uh, you guys, I'll even fine tune it more if you need additional help. Um, so that's limited scope. Now, if you're trying to help yourself and you want to organize it, uh, how are we doing on time? We're still good. All right. The reason why I suggest setting up your own YouTube channel or using your own YouTube channel and saving playlists is so that if you are looking for... Um, if you're looking for helpful videos, you can save and index them in those playlists that I talked about. So question, you guys, we can go back here. Can I have a, um, another uh, show of hands or a show of, of uh, <laughs> a show of yes or no? How many people know how to save in, and organize videos into playlists? So if you went to a law site and, and you saw three or four different lawyers have three or four different videos, would you be able to save those and say, look, let me spend one day gathering 20 videos. I'm going to delete the ones that don't work. And then I'm going to have, um, and then I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to pull through these with the, uh, the speed on high speed. So I can zoom through and have a resource. That's just like a lawyer coaching me because the reason why I think that this is valuable 
I want you to know what a video producer like me is doing. We draft the videos and we put into something called the metadata of the video for questions that clients are asking themselves. For instance, mm -hmm. how do I deal with a toxic ex? I have to go to, I have to file a modification for support. What do I need to prove? Or I have a stack of documents that I want to show the judge. How do I organize these into exhibits? So what I want you to do is to, if you have a problem, if you're a self-help represented litigant at any time in your search process, put that into the YouTube bar, put it into the Google search browser. And when you get the results, don't necessarily read, save them for later. See what resources there are out there so you know how many lawyers are putting up free information for you, for you self-represented litigants, because they're hoping that when it's time for a hearing, that you're going to want the person who helped you the most to represent you. This is what lawyers call their lost leader. The whole business uh, business model of the internet is for people to give away their product for free, whether if it's a professional, uh, a, a, um, a sports media channel or something. You put up your content that everyone's looking for and you give something helpful so that if they need you more, if they need more help, then they pay the money because you've proven yourself, you've proven yourself to be helpful. So I think it's really important for this, for to, to learn this next part, allow me to continue. So um, guys, if you have a phone, there's my email in case I don't put it up. For those who I said to you, reach out. I don't know if, uh, if you wanna just take a picture of my email address right there with your phone or, or, or screen capture right now, so anyone who needs to reach out to me, I will give that again, but uh, that's my email. All right, so if you don't know how, most everybody has an email address. So to be able to save stuff with YouTube, sign up for Gmail. Now I'm not gonna go through that because I think that that's basic or that's something that you can, here's the other thing. If I tell you anything you don't know how to do, go into Google, how do I set up a Gmail account? There's gonna be steps that'll come right up. But I'm gonna go through right now to show you that if you undertake to learn how to do this, how easy it is to learn. So click the sign in, sign in. This, what comes up is your email address. I've saved the password, so I'm gonna click next. So all you're doing is your Click into the sign in. Oh, by the way, up here, guys, look at the very top of your screen where it says youtube.com. That's where you go first. You sign in with your Gmail account, click on it. You're not on screen share. I am screen sharing. No, can you guys see my screen right now? Do you guys see something that says Google? Hi, Lawrence. Yes, we can okay. see it. So then you hit next. And then this is what comes up. I'm shading everything I don't want you to see, but I want you to know that there's a page here. And the only thing that matters is up in the right-hand corner will be the first letter of your email address. Click it again. This drop-down comes. Click it again and create channel pops up. Click it and this is what you see. Now, I don't want you to remember this, but I want you to know that if you follow the steps that I'm doing, this is exact the same thing that you will see. And you can also put, how do I set up a YouTube channel? Someone will talk you through this. But if you were thinking that you didn't know how to do this, I want you to know that if you do this, this is how easy it'll be. Click get started. Click your username. This is what comes up. Just hit select. Guys, that's it. That's how you set up a YouTube channel you can now index every helpful video that you see, organize them and then go watch at one time what you wanna learn. And then, and only then do I want you to go to a lawyer because you've been educated. You just had that lawyer talk to you for free 
about your topic and you don't have to pay him or her 300 400 or if it's inex uh, inexpensive 200 or 150 but you don't have to pay for that time you will just have saved yourself hundreds if not thousands of dollars so moving on the, the channel has been created just from those few clicks i think it was like five scroll down you can put some description you're not going to use it for this uh, this description is like what I put. If you go to the description, here's what you're going to see on mine, but you're skipping that step. It comes all that information is for about, but you're going to keep yours hidden. You're not, no one's going to see yours. You're just doing this to save. You're not going to add a channel description. Scroll down. You're not going to add any of this stuff. You're just going to skip it. Because if you did, this is what would appear would appear in the upper right hand corner, which you're not going to produce. You just want to index and save. So skip all this. Uh, I think I don't know if my taskbar is in the way here. But anyway, it says uh, go back. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm having trouble getting my mouse to move that out of the way. Can you see my uh, can you see the bottom of what that says? Set up later, save and continue. All right, set up later. Great. That's what you're going to click. Thanks. I, not, I can't see it on my screen. I'm sorry. So, uh, and this is upload a video to get started, is what you'll see. You're not going to do that. This is what you're going to do. Okay. Create valuable free resources, little time, no cost. This is a page that I set up in one afternoon. And I want to show you this is the this is what its banners look like. And I want to show you how to curate. Basically, it's just select, organize, and maintain a collections of helpful videos made by others so you can use it for you. So see all these videos. This is this is this page that I set up. But I want to show you. We clicked in videos right here. If the channel would say it has no videos, there's no original content. Everything that I did, no videos, didn't get any views. This is not recorded, that this is a non channel. But what it is, if I click home, it's completely populated. This is what your video for you will look like when you set up and you can index yourself. All the helpful videos that you can read. Maybe you don't need to know some of the information that you find now, but you can save it to look at it for later. So uh, these are different playlists across that I'm gonna, I can teach you really quick how to set up. I'm gonna scroll down, there's more, there's three more rows. I did all this manually because I did a search and then I saved them in index and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so suppose Warren Farrell is gonna teach me about the boy crisis or whatever lawyer's name that I just told you has a great content on those other channels. If you click, I put Warren Farrell in the search browser. So if you picked attorneys, family law lawyer, if you put right there, click search and boom. So here's, here's, I put Warren Farrell. So here's a video. That's his, that's, that's the, the channel that you can click and get others. But suppose, hey, I love this video right here. And I want to save this because I know darn well, I don't want to go looking for it again. I want it to come up easy. There's three dots beside every video on YouTube. So you're going to click the dots. This is what pop up comes up. Add to, add to queue, save to watch later, or save to playlist. If you are representing yourself, or you're in court and not representing yourself, and you want to tell the lawyer, wait, I got this part, skip it, save, I want to save money. I've already read up on that. Go to the next part. Click save to playlist, and this is what comes up. This is your next pop-up. You're going to click create new playlist, and you're going to enter a playlist name. We're going to enter petition for modification custody. We're going to put custody. We're going to put support. Whatever your or, or prepare for hearing. You put it in that playlist right there, set it for private because only you need to see it. This is no one's business but yours. Now I just put in the boy crisis for, for Warren so you can see what I'm doing here. Hit create. Now you have a playlist that now when you click create playlist, well, instead of just watch later, what you just created will pop up. So this shows, remember when it said there are no videos on this or there's nothing stuck? Now this popped up. So just repeat, go through, hit search and repeat and keep populating. So that is how, and this is, if you clicked on the playlist, this would show.
This is what would show. Then every other video that you save will just populate down the right side. So I hope if any of you are in family court that you go to palawhelp.org or just go and search yourself. And as you are going, don't just look at that world of videos out there, those helpful videos out there. I want you to organize your online brain. I want you to have your private YouTube channel where you populate and index everything that you're learning or want to learn so that you don't just sit down at your computer and see this mass world of, inter of videos, but you, 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 you pare them down, you pick the best ones, and you will have an online lawyer talking to you through free videos to help you learn. You can also put the description here, coming back here. Uh, you can also customize the channel right here. I'm gonna click this button. This is your site now. If you click customize channel and you click, this is where you, this is where you'll know you're in the, I just highlighted channel customization. If you click add section, this is how, this is what's gonna pop up in this right-hand corner, right here. I just want you to look at single playlist or multiple playlists. And I know I am flying through here and you, I, I I don't want you to take this in now. I want you do to have an understanding that if you found a video where someone said how to save a video or how to populate your own curated content, you would have someone in a half hour video talking you through this, where if you split screens, you could do this yourself. Go back to this icon. I just put this arrow. I'm going back where this, this pops up. Click back to your channel and I'm back to the beginning.